Action Comics 992 Dan Jorgens <laughs> and Rob Williams uh, writing which I thought I didn't realise that before I read it and then Will yeah. Conrad on the art so this is the, the aftermath issue to the Oz Effect which I think is amusing that it's probably better than any of the Oz Effect issues themselves yeah well because it's dealing with the fallout and Superman's mindset and I usually don't like a conflicted Superman but here I just I don't know if maybe I had a rough day when I read it. <laughs> I felt his panic, you know, well, like in my soul. I, I think the idea so. that what, what, what Jor-El slash Oz did actually got under his skin, and this idea that he knows mm-hmm. that something out there has manipulated things and something's coming, like, it's actually put a seed of doubt in his hope, which is an interesting idea for Superman. Like, how does he combat that? Because, like, again, you have to imagine yeah. he's, he's going to come out on the other end. So there's various things. He's in, he's in uh, the fortress. He's, he's trying to, like... Like figure out like is Mister Oz actually Jor El and Kalex is like yes it is, and Batman shows up and I feel like this 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 shows a series of moments with him and another character you know first is with Batman who's like guest you know, stars galore yeah he's, he's basically know? like yeah actually as a matter of fact I have kind of met my dead dad that happened kind of recently yeah. <laughs> and he's like mm-hmm. what a life uh, eh? <laughs> I, I love this yeah. like this this is Batman done right you know because you know he's he first yeah. off he's like yeah I didn't hear the bat player he's like no you didn't. You were distracted. Not like yeah. not you tried to hide it. It's like you're just too distracted. And yeah. then, you know, he goes, oh, you know, you, you, you gotta, you can't lose your temper. You can't be reckless. It's you know, it's you've got to be better than that. And and Superman's like, oh, you think I'm dangerous? You need to make sure the powerful aliens in check. And it, it feels like, hey, 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 hey you've seen yeah. this recently, hey? Eh? Yeah. And, and he's like, yeah, no, I'm not worried about cow. that. Yeah, and he's like, no, man, I'm here as your friend. I'm, I'm like, worried about you. Yeah, yeah I especially yeah. like at the end when he flies off because he hears, like, you know, trouble in boats somewhere. And Batman, yeah. as he's flying off, is like, you're Superman, don't forget that. It's like the idea that he cares about what Superman is as an idea. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. at this yeah. point in their lives is, is pretty cool. Uh, so he was the same, and obviously Lois is covering from the planet. Like, you know, oh, yeah, he's undercover. He's just so, so, hunting down a story. Yeah, don't worry, Perry. He's, he's, he's here. <laughs> I love that whole thing. He's like, yeah, well, you guys are married. So you're just covering for him. She's like, well, no, he's, you know, we can't blow his cover. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, okay, Lane. Uh, LA is, Lane. Yeah, yeah. Do you trust your reporters or not? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah. God damn it, I, I don't like believe the... you on this, but I, have to, <laughs> you... I can't call you out yeah. on it. I like the, 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 the double meaning here that she's like, oh, you don't want to blow his cover, when what she's doing yeah. is, in fact, protecting his actual cover. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, so, so they, they talk on the roof, and... So we get a moment with Lois, which is nice, and she's like, "Hey, you're, you're, you're Superman. You'll figure it out." You know, she, she's she's Lois, but Hal shows up, and it's mm-hmm. like, "Hey, right, we got we got that that that, that uh, you know the, the data you wanted. We got it. So I've made a, a a wormhole for you to travel through. Come come to come to Mogo. We'll we'll sort this out." And it's like, so Tomar Ray's there. He's like, "Okay, so that's Krypton's you know uh, or yep. Krypton Sector's lantern." Right, it's okay. Right, so we got we got the we got the footage up. Of course, Matt knows the number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we got the footage up. It's like okay. So here's Krypton just before it exploded. Okay, there's the ship going. Although I, I will point out, I did think it was weird how Clark was like, oh, we need to make sure I was the only ship. And I'm like, what about Kara? Wasn't her ship leaving around this time as well? Yeah, yeah. But on I the other side, it's fine. Okay, it felt like a bit of an oversight, but whatever. Yeah, so, definitely an oversight. Um, but yeah, also, <laughs> I want to know. The canon of why Tomar Ray just kind of let the planet explode. Like, now I want a, a, a mini series where the Lanterns try. Kind of like what I, we I just had in Green Lanterns. I wonder if it's one of those things where they're not allowed to intercept, intervene, because it's like, you know, it's their own thing. It's you know, their own poli- yeah, politics. But, but, so you can't, you can't displace their politics. What about, what about the, the mole people from Green Lanterns yeah. like three well, weeks yeah, ago? But, yeah, but they they had a whole thing in that where if the mole people don't want to go, we're not allowed to take them. Oh, sure. they, okay. have to, they have to circumvent yeah. that. But, All but right, where sure. were the Green Lanterns showing up going, hey guys, your planet, like, you may, should, y'all may, should may, probably try to do something. May, maybe they did, but Krypton just didn't well, listen. I, well, Connor, I've always, I'm just saying, I want a miniseries where that happens. Yeah, now. I've I've always like, liked the idea that Toma Ray's guilty about not being able to do something about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind that having explored. Whatever they, they decide happened happened i'm sure yeah. you know what matt i have no doubts there was a story about this at some point there has well, to have been yeah i i need it i'm gonna track it down now so thanks yeah. for that pete it, it makes it makes no sense to me that at some point either in a superman comic oh. or a green lantern comic they didn't explore this idea and then so when you look at it like that it makes sense that they took you know the at least the the guardians took you know the footage for it just so they they have mm. it in like an archive you know, things that happened on our watch. 
So they watch the Krypton hologram recording and it it glitches. It's like, wait a minute, what's going on? And then it's like, okay, I'll fast forward a little bit. And then it's like already exploded. He's like, that's weird. The data when it actually goes up is it is corrupted. And this is, of course, Superman's like, no, someone's manipulated this. Just like the you know, someone's done this. this Some, is, someone tampered with time. This is the same. This yeah. is the same. You know, oh. whoever pulled out Jor El is the same person who's done this. They've, they've messed with this and. Uh, I'm like, oh man, this is exciting. I, I love this image here of him standing amongst the the shattered shards of Krypton. Yeah, it's a nice touch, yeah. especially since it's all green. So it's it's it, obviously it's like Krypton, yeah. yeah, it's Kryptonite. green because it's Green Lantern like energy and light. Right. But obviously, it makes me think of Kryptonite. So yeah, it's, a nice it, touch. it's got this really nice effect to it. Uh, so he is like, okay, well, I'm going to the Watchtower, and he pulls off the the tarp. He's going to check out Barry's cosmic treadmill, and I'm like, "Oh no, Clark, this is a bad idea. Don't do this, Clark. No, nothing ever good comes from this. <laughs> Don't do it. Nothing ever good comes from the cosmic treadmill. But things should just be destroyed." Yep. Like, uh, Superman, you know, he runs on the treadmill. He goes somewhere in time. He's going back to Krypton to see, you know, what happened when it exploded, which is, you know, an interesting plot idea if that's the next arc. That's cool. Maybe we'll get what Matt wanted in that. We'll see Tomare trying. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe this that. is that story that he wants. Or Tomare will never show up or be mentioned in any way. I, I right. feel like maybe he has to, because to get that recording, surely they'd have to be present to see it. Yeah, yeah. maybe, yeah. Well, Maybe maybe the argument is, is that because they made a point of showing his Tomar Ray here and reminding us of him and reminding us that he was the one who's in charge of that sector, you maybe right. that's setting him up so maybe, that when he pops up... Maybe this is one of those cause and effect things where Clark going back will actually go to Tomar Ray and they'll go to Krypton together. Oh, maybe. Right. Uh, but I, I just feel like the fact that they made a point of showing us him here and reminding us of him, of, of, his, of his involvement in this, is like, no, when he pops up later in the arc, this is going to make, yeah. you know, you're going to know about him. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so he goes to the treadmill... And he goes through, like, you know, the, the wormhole they creates, whatever. And then you hear, no! And you just see the, the, this, you know, <laughs> gold explosion. And Booster Gold and Skeet pop out and go, no, Clark, don't go. Oh, we're too late. Damn it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That so is so Booster. With, yeah. Yep. I spaced that Booster was coming. Like, I knew it. We uh, all, yeah, I got excited. Was, uh, I knew there was a booster story coming. I didn't yeah. realize it started this week. Yeah, I didn't realize it was so this week I get, either. I, I get to the, the end, and I jumped out of my chair. I uh, like, oh yeah. I, I, I think the realizer booster. realizes, because obviously next issue is the start of that arc, But because mm-hmm. this, this is the aftermath, so we weren't necessarily expecting booster in this. Right. We, we yeah. were waiting for it next time. Well, when I turned that as page... As soon as he started... Yeah, when I turned that page and it was Booster, I went, "Oh yeah, he's coming up." But yeah. I didn't, yeah, like you say, I didn't realize it was this this week. So it was a genuine kind of like exciting shock of like, "Oh, Booster Gold!" But once once Superman started, there were so many references of tampering with time in this one. You have to wonder if if Superman is the one that tampered with time here it, with, by the end of this story. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe they recorded. They obviously, didn't tamper with Jor El, yeah. but no, 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 not yeah. with what happened. But like you say, you know, the the recording, well, whatever's yeah. gone on, maybe it's the because, whole, because of what he's done. Booster's whole the... mo, as of you know, post uh, Infinite Crisis, was you really can't mess with time, you know. So like, yeah, you know, especially if certain elements are are basically concreted in that you can't change them because of of you know timey wimey. Let's just say, and so the fact that. Superman's going to try to go back. I don't think he can impact anything. Well, that Well, well this always... is the thing. I think it's going to be one of those where anything he does impact has already happened. I think well, it's going right. to be one of those. What I think is exciting to, for me about this, though, is I like the idea that Superman's going to convince Booster that someone's already manipulated time, yep. and that's going to set Booster like just sniffing. He's like, yeah, something has changed. This is weird. This... This is... Yeah, and do you know what's <sighs> refreshing to me about this story going forward? He's not going back to try and save Krypton. He just wants no, to no, see yeah. what happened. So yeah. he doesn't even plan to intervene. No. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's, he's kind of aware well, of the rules. This is the thing. He, uh, this is the thing. He's going back to investigate why things were altered. So he's investigating Manhattan. He doesn't know that yet, but that's what he's there investigating. So, and, and how can Manhattan interject on on Booster in the time stream? And you know, Rip Hunter for that matter, if he's still around. Like, I wonder what Booster's been up to. That's been yeah, keeping and, him and, in. And the question is. Why didn't Oz take Booster? You know, like right. obviously Oz's whole thing was working for Manhattan and mm. you know, keeping things so that, that that this would go as planned. Why why leave the the people like Booster who can come in? Well, and it, it, well maybe it maybe like he locked out the Legion because they're time travelers. Yeah, he locked well, out maybe Booster maybe Booster was like trapped somewhere else. Maybe That's, Oz 
like or Manhattan specifically. Maybe, maybe like somehow he was or, the, the reason why he hasn't shown up been, until now is because he's been somewhere else, like trapped. Or I think whatever. he's been preoccupied. I think or preoccupied trying to fix other things that are trying to fix manipulated. other things, like you know that, and that's how we get end up with the JSA or, or whatnot. You know, like little tiny things like that. But I mean, because the last time we saw him was right before convergence. You know, so it's been a couple years. I mean, about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, well, I try not to think about it, but, you know. Was Bush yeah, even in New 52 at all? No, just in... Sure. You know, he was in, he was in the, um, with, with Jonah Hex. Oh, uh, yeah, Star he Western? He, he was there for a while in that. Like, yeah, and he was uh, in Justice League International, but you found out that that wasn't the actual booster. It was a different booster. Yeah. And our booster was locked away. You found that out in Convergence. And then he just disappears at the end of that, and we haven't seen him since. So he was—he's been aware of stuff going on, yeah. and the New Fifty Two not being right. So that's why I'm leaning towards he's been preoccupied with. No, it could be. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Booster Gold is going to try and Forget stop Booster Gold Superman from messing Ooh, with time. Me. So exciting! This was a great issue. Actually, comment. It's just—it's kind of strange to me that Oz Effect was was fine, had some good moments, but like this issue was better than any of them. Uh, yeah, definitely. It was better than all of it put together. Mm. It's great. So, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get good things going forward.